school tell me, I remember when Nip was about 11 years old, he came up to me and said, say, big homie, when I grow up, I'm gonna take care of the hood. That was Irmis had that desire. Nip didn't do that. So I say, nigga, fuck these characters. I represent this crip shit. I don't give a fuck about a character, but I care about a person's legacy. Don't no nigga disrespect Nipsey Hussle. It's tried by 12 or carried by six anywhere. Well, I done disrespected them, Skull. Yeah, no, you said this in front of me and I done disrespected no. them. It ain't a man alive that can muzzle this mouth. Hey, fuck a muzzle I'm willing, I'm willing to when die, you talking, kill, and go to jail by what I speak on. Let's see no, that you're right. Yeah, no, you're you, man, you lying to me. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's on, what I'm talking about. I ain't, no, I ain't, I ain't got a justify motherfucking thing what I done said, my nigga. I done the said it. You do. And yeah. I, now, no, listen, I don't. It, I ain't got a justify my nigga. I done drove too far from this motherfucker, nigga. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Virex. Bumming at you with a brand new video. Hey, man, today we got a banger, man. Today we got Charleston White sitting down with Crip, Melvin Farmer, and Pyru. I told him Marv on Boss Talk TV, man. He an East Texas podcast, so shout out to him. You know, I got family out of East Texas, and uh, I just wanted to watch this one because it got 1.5 million views and I've I never seen it. Uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get to the video. Before we get into the video though, man, if y'all like that intro that I played at the beginning, be sure to like the video because if you like the intro, you're going to like the video. Comment, you got something to say about the video or me. Subscribe if you're new and mess with the content, man. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get it to it. Check it, check it, check it. This is Unique Hustle. It's your boy, ECO. And I'm here, man, on Boss Talk 101, man. It's A, man. We got a special special guest in the house today. I got I'm a, I got California in here. I got Texas in here, man. I got my boy, Charleston White, here. I got my, my guy, uh, Artola Marv, in here. I got my guy, Melvin Farmer, in here, man. How you guys doing, man? Good, good. Man, good, good to have you, man. And I, I know you know the thing I always talk about, man, is uh, the youth. Um, uh, we, we've had different situations where, like I said, Mob James was down, um, when was that, about three months? Of, like in June. In June, yeah, yeah like it, was, June. it was in June, and, uh, and, 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 and it, it, it pretty much permeated the waves of the internet. Mob, uh, it was Mob James and Charleston White. Um, and when everybody seen it, it was a, it was a kid's function, wasn't it? Um, uh, well, uh, you, it, on the surface, it, it seemed like that, uh, but it, it really wasn't. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, it, it really wasn't about the kids. Uh, it was really, uh, you know, to address the sentiments, uh, you know, that I've, that I've expressed over the internet. Okay. Uh, and, and made public, so it, it wasn't, it wasn't about the kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was supposed to be what it was about, but it ended up not being about the kids is what you're saying. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, nah, I wasn't about the kids. Yeah. yeah so, nah. so and, and I always, and you know me, I go right on back to structure, you know, as far as when you, I mean, because of where we're at today in society, as it, far as gangs go and far as the way that the, the, the culture is, do we want to see change with the youth? Do we want to see children and everybody else detour those things and try to do things in a different way? Well, yeah, when you say, do you want to see change? And just like I interjected to you earlier, a lot of them start off thinking about they want to do change and they want to, you know, you hear ex-gang members always talking about we doing it for the kids. No, nigga, you're doing it for yourself. You're trying to get be seen. You change from what your intention was. You get on front of camera. You get to boasting about stuff that you really didn't do and you really wasn't a part of. You didn't make up this. And so now you're just like rappers, just hearing stuff. So when it ends up, it don't be about the kids because if it was yeah, about like the kids, yeah. if it was about the kids, we wouldn't be in the situations we are with our little uh, fragile egos. Yeah, that's right. If, if we thought it was a bigger order, it couldn't nothing that could be said to me if I had another intent. But they say before, destruction is the ego, you know? And so we start playing on who I am and what I did. And you ain't done nothing. Yeah, yeah. Well, the thing I, I look at is uh, when, when I look at, like I, and then like I told you when we was in LA, well, I alluded to the fact of a lot of people, a lot of kids in the culture in the South, um, 
after they seen colors or whatever, or me being in East Texas, Shreveport was right there. So you was influenced by a lot of those guys moving okay, down okay, there. Okay, well, okay, we, okay. This is how we ended up, uh, you know, even knowing about gangs, period. You know, we was influenced by movies and, and stuff like that, but we never really, that wasn't our thing, not mine down here. But at the end of the day, a lot of times you see people portraying that now. Is there anything that, it, it should there be a deterrent now, you know, far as after you see all the killing that go on, is this something to where we should be saying, hey, man, this ain't the way we should be going with it? Hell yes. As far as gangs. Well, I, I guess we all say that. You know, we all could say uh, this shouldn't be the way it was. But then, again, the portrayal is so prolific that what you saying is one ear out the other. Okay. You know? So I mean, it's a it's a hard job. Lot couldn't get one. So if you can get one, you done done God's world. You know what I'm saying? You done done the work. But to think you can save everybody, can't nobody save everybody. You yeah. know? So you have to keep on not talking the talk, but walk the walk. Show it every day. Being I'm in I'm in my hood every day. Yeah. I'm in my park every day. As a grown man, I'm, I'm not Ayatollah Marv, I'm not OG Marv, the name, I'm Mr. Kinsey. I earned that. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not your playmate, I'm not, your, but I'm trying to just show, like, damn, bro, you know, we got to, I can't tell you to pick up your pants, because if I'm just worried about your pants, if I ain't trying to get your head, the hell with what you're wearing, yeah. how you wearing it. You feel what I'm saying? So we have to get a concept together as a unit, who we trying to really say. Yeah, because you know and I know, like when you look at like different uh, sections in Texas where people are portraying, hey man, I'm in the gang or whatever, um, it is happening. It happens uh, even now, today, you uh, know. Uh, but folks starts to talk, bro, I wanna say something real quick. I don't know, understand nothing that he said. He said he be in the hood at the park every day. How are you not changing these kids' minds about being in the streets then? Because if they seeing you and you telling them your life story and you telling them not to go down that pathway that you going and you actually did it, how was you not deterring these kids? <laughs> like, what? In the gang or whatever. Um, it is happening. It happens uh, even now, today. You know, uh, uh, California, uh, gang banging outside of California is a is a is a is a different animal. Correct. Uh, California and Chicago is it is its own animals. Uh, one's a lion, one's a bear. Uh, anything outside of those lines, uh, it's not. It ain't concrete. Uh, Outside of California, you can you can go be granddaddy. You can kill niggas when you're 14. You can kill niggas in your 20s. And you can kill niggas in your 30s. And when you get 45, uh, you can go to community college. And 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 and, and you can go uh, to your son's uh, football game in Mansfield. You can go to his game in West Dallas. Uh, niggas in California don't have that luxury. So when I moved to California, I saw niggas can't retire out the game. Wow. These niggas 60 years old, 50 years old, they still at the park. Well, they're at the park through election, homie. It ain't, it ain't, it's, it's not that they can't get out the game. Uh, it's some people that are so stuck. I did time, I got out of prison, I went to college, I had a whole life, been out of prison but, 26 but, years. But that's, that's the you observation I made. That's my qualitative yeah. study. <laughs> nah, for real, look. If I throw a stone and it hits you, if the shoe fits, then wear it. <laughs> he took it personal off the roof. Ah, ah, ah. He just speaking facts. This is what he's seen, and this is exactly what's happening. It's always some old school niggas talking about they trying to change the community. Nah, nah nigga, you just want to still be involved in that shit. <laughs> be real. Because if you wanted to change the people around you, it's easy. As you being the OG, as you being the big dog, don't cap. You taking advantage of them kids, just like all the other older dudes do. That's what they do in our community. That's why the kids end up fucked up, because it's somebody older that's taking advantage of them being younger. Straight up. 
right? That's what I went to California to study. I didn't, I didn't go to party. I didn't go to get high. I went to study, and I walked the streets every day. So uh, I went where everybody told me not to go. So I know what I was looking at. I know what I was looking at. Them niggas stuck. It ain't a lot of opportunities afforded to them as it is out here. So a lot of this is the land of opportunity out here. This is a felony-friendly environment. You can get a job at Lockheed Martin and make missiles for the military with a felony out here. They ain't got that luxury in California. The trucking mm. industry don't boom in California like it does mm. here. The oil fields, they don't get to work in the plants. They don't get the twit cars. They ain't out there mm. on, the, on the dock. So I saw that, homie. I saw that. So I got involved through community seeing this guy, working with this guy. So I, I was taking notes. I saw that it ain't no black unity nowhere in California. Mm. I saw that a preacher can't even speak out against this stuff. Mm. So I saw that that's a different animal. Those black people are suffering way different than us. Wow. Uh, let me add it. Uh, I think what he's trying to say is that uh, out there, it's down there you got to just because it's around you 24-7 everywhere. You know, I'm in Texas, so I'm pretty sure the whole South could feel what I'm finna say right now. If we go outside and decide to be gang members, it's, it's literally a choice. It's a choice out here. Like, no question. You choosing to hang with them certain guys, you know what I'm saying? And you really, nine times ten, you know them better because most other households grow up in churches. So, off the rip, you choosing not... You choosing to disobey what you know is right or wrong, and you choosing to do the wrong. You know what I mean? People are suffering way different than us. Wow. Uh, let me add a, uh, say yeah, about Jay. that. Uh, how me and Charleston met, and he can correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, through the internet, the proper use, he seen me and he came to St. Andrews Park. Straw hat, cowboy boots, and overalls. And he said, Melvin, I watch you on the internet. I come to meet you and to learn this culture. And it wasn't like I'm, God gave him the key. He learned from just hanging with me. Yeah. He got to go to see Nipsey Hussle funeral. He got to go uh, to LA Gangs Unite. One time he called me, he was on what, Imperial in Vermont, mm -hmm. almost fit to get killed, it, it, and I had, remember? Yeah, in the Denver Lane neighborhood. <laughs> and yeah. I had to tell him how to get up out of there and teach him, so I was mentoring him, and the first thing he said out of his mouth, he said, Melvin, there is no retirement for you, huh? Wow. He recognized that because you still got bullets flying, and, uh, you know, these parks are uh, in L.A. on the west side. I'm speaking on the west, west side. side. You always say. And then also at that time, everybody embraced this man. So I don't know how we at this position now. Yeah. But everybody, he got to meet everybody. 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 Through so you. So we embraced him. Through you. Through not only me, because he knew he uh, Cappuccino, yeah, I'm Psycho I, I, Mike, I, I, Rayana. I, I, I migrated. Got... I migrated off. So the people that I was in California with, they didn't have no gang affiliation. Wow. These was good working people, and they didn't want me at St. Andrews Park. They was terrified that I was with Melvin, right? Because they know California. They wow. know that any given time, man, people, kids was dying at St. Andrews Park. So I was going up there when when people were still getting shot at, right? But I'm there to learn. Nigga, I'm on a journey. Wow. You see what I'm saying? So, man, I'm Ubering there. I'm getting dropped off, and sometimes he ain't there. Wow. You, you, you see him? So sometimes I'm Ubering back, and it's late. I got left to the 60s neighborhood. Didn't nobody know me. Mm. I'm hearing niggas say, say, cuz, who, who, who is homie there, cuz? Oh, that's Skull, partner. Man, where's Skull at? But he knew who he left me with. I don't know. Wow. But I trust him because he's been kind of father figure, uncle-like to me while I'm in California. Nigga, I don't know nobody. But I'm entrenched in street culture. So I got to learn this shit, homie. This is the shit niggas where I'm from done killed and died for. And I'm on Hoover Street. 
I get to walk down Hoover Street. I get to go to Grape Street. I get to go to all these different places that niggas from my city will never go to. So, nigga, I got to come back here and teach these niggas. Say, homie, fuck that Crippin' Blood shit, nigga. That's them nigga shit. You can't go up there and claim that shit. Them niggas will kill you up there talking about what you, where you from, nigga. <laughs> yeah. Leave them My niggas shit alone. That. That's California game. So what I did, I always sat California over here. Mm-hmm. I never, because they, the, uh, they the originals the and the founders. So I never spoke on them. Nigga, I learned that from him. Everything past them is emulating and imitating. They really faking yeah, yeah. So I'm telling everybody back in my town, nigga, fuck that cripping blood shit, nigga. Fuck you, crowd bad nigga. I'm getting big on the internet. California niggas hearing this language, me talk to these local crips. Wow. Nigga, I went to the funeral trying to figure out, man, what the f- fuck everybody crazy about this Nipsey Hustle nigga for? Nigga, he ain't played on our songs down here. So I'm watching my city, Dallas, Fort Worth throw this celebration for this Nipsey guy, and nigga, we got niggas do what he do here. Fuck we celebrating that nigga for. So Melvin say, hey man, I'm going to the funeral, you wanna go? So nigga, I go to the funeral trying to figure out who the fuck is Nipsey Hustle and why this nigga being celebrated. So when I'm at the funeral, they smoking weed, they playing his his album, which is cussing, bitch, this, fuck this. So, nigga, I'm fucked up. This ain't southern well, shit. Shows, yeah, we no, man, this is a dead body. But because I'm with the rolling 60s, I get to sit counter to the family. So I'm looking at all these motherfuckers smoke weed, including myself, smoking weed in this motherfucker, because we don't do this down south. <laughs> nah, for we real. are for Nipsey. <laughs> I start listening to them people speak of ear miss. The mother, the father, the girlfriend, the little boy. The little boy said, last night, Irmish came to me in a dream. It blew me away. I put the weed out. Wow. No, nah, man, and when we walk by, I'm looking at the family. They mourning Irmish. We bullshitting for Nipsey. Wow. So I can easily say fuck that character. So. I get I get left in the in the in the sixties neighborhood, nigga. This is a melee. Can't nobody get through. The Uber can't get through. Nothing. I'm there to like 10, 11, 12 o'clock at night, homie. How the fuck I'm gonna get back home? And I I can't say this, but Skull left a bag. Say Skull, Skull tell me get the bag. Them niggas ain't gonna let me get that bag. They got that bag and took it to Skull. Wow. But I'm still there with the sixties. So this big old nigga right here can barely walk, ankles bad, knees bad, look mean in the motherfucker. Say, say, uh, big homie, you think you can give me a ride to the house? Big sight. He ain't said two words in all day long. Yeah, I'll give you a ride. Where you at? So I tell him where I'm at. That's a danger zone. So as we riding home, school tell me, I remember when Nip was about 11 years old, he came up to me and said, big homie, can I ask you something? And he said, yeah, why you gang bang? He said, this is what the 11 year old, 12 year old kid asked him. That ain't Nip, that's Irmis, this an inquisitive kid. I got that from the funeral. He was very inquisitive. So he tell him I gang bang because I was born to. Say, big homie, when I grow up, I'm gonna take care of the hood. That was Irmis had that desire. Nip didn't do that. Nip was a gang banging rolling 60 that'll kill an eight trade gangster crip that'll shoot a hoover. Wow. So wow. I don't honor the characters. Same with Monster Cody. I read the book. Monster Cody as a kid. Nigga, that's where I got my gang knowledge from, that book. Miss Pumple, a juvenile worker, gave me that book. Nigga, I sat in isolation and read that book. Nigga, when I came out, I became the leader. Because them niggas didn't have the knowledge. They didn't know nothing about Hoover Joe and none of that other kind of shit. So when I grew up, I started learning that he changed his name to Shakur. Cody Scott and Monster Cody ain't the same people. But they go worship Monster. Mm. Wow. So I say, nigga, fuck these characters. Whoever Buntry is, what do his mama call him? Yeah, for real. Kids call him. For real. Nigga, don't give me these street names, these bullshit characters that can't stand before God, nigga. Mm. 
can't stand before God, nigga. So I assassinate mm. the characters because he who controls images controls mine. These bullshit images, nigga. Wow. Nipsey wasn't in heaven, that little boy said. He said, Irmis. So I don't speak on Irmis. I don't speak on Cody. But nigga, whatever them names is that hip hop gave us, nigga, I assassinate them. Because our kids worship them motherfuckers. This is a generation of idol worshipers, nigga. Wow. So I assassinate the idols. Don't fuck what I say, nigga. Look what I do. So that's why I, I say any motherfucking thing. And I've heard you say yeah, that. Yeah, I say any motherfucking thing. Huh? Yeah, the, yeah, I say any internet. motherfucking thing. The internet yeah, I'm a shock jock. Yeah, 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 I'm a shock jock. Nigga ain't got no business listening to me, no way. He and I'm willing to time. die. I'm willing to die, kill, and go to jail by what I come out of my mouth. Wow. So when you think about the character versus the 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 individual as far as the way the mother brings this child to, to her image when she's dealing with it, do you, I mean, do you guys see the difference or do y'all feel like it's the same? First, let me start by saying this. And it ain't going to be no rebuttals about this shock jocks, killers, whoever the fuck run in their mouth. I represent L.A. And I represent this crip shit. I don't give a fuck about a character, but I care about a person's legacy. Don't no nigga disrespect Nipsey Hussle, Monster Cody, Tookie, Raymond Washington, nigga. It's tried by 12 or carried by six anywhere, anytime. Well, uh, they characters to me, man. Well, I ain't, so I ain't talking I ain't. about who well, nobody I, 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 else I, 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 opinion. I, 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 I didn't interject I, 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 I you. I don't disrespect them, though. No, no, well, no, I, no. But I done disrespected them, Skull. Yeah, no, you said this say. in front of me, and I done disrespected no, them. No, no, and no, I just no, said no. I was a shock jock. So, nigga, no, at any no. given time, my nigga, if I feel the need to speak on something, it ain't a man alive. That can muzzle this mouth. Hey, fuck a muzzle a mouth. I'm willing to when die, you talking, kill, and go to jail by what I speak on. Let's see no, that you're right. Yeah, yeah, you, you, man, you, you lying to me. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's why I talk so boldly. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, that's why I talk so boldly. I get it, get it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We talking like men. I ain't scared to die. I know. I ain't scared to kill no nigga neither. My body, nigga. That ain't what we here for. We ain't arguing. I'm not, because I'm not doing no motherfucking talking. No, man, no, man, no, no, man, no, man, listen, nigga, on, listen, I ain't, I, ain't, I, ain't listen, I ain't got to justify my words. I don't say what I said. I ain't got to justify my words. I ain't telling you a motherfucking thing. I ain't got to justify my words. I ain't got to justify my words. Check this out. That's crazy, dog. It ain't even get to to where he could even finish half his sentence before Sarsta White said something against him. You know what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, they let Sarsta White talk. So it starts the way I only feel like you should let them talk, even though, you know, we can infer and figure out that it's definitely going to be some BS that come out dude's mouth because he's already talking about. I, re I represent L.A. I represent the Crips. You can already tell where he going with it. He was going to defend the characters. He was going to de defend their characters by saying probably they probably they needed to do this to become who they were as people. No, you don't have to do that. It's true that yeah, you probably do have to go through hurt and L's to get to where you gotta go. But you you don't gotta push yourself in positions to take hurt and L's. You supposed to just let it come naturally. Most of these guys, the OGs is the ones that put the little homies in the game. It's the OGs that they following, that they going out and doing the street shit with. So the OGs, the men back then was the ones leading the kids into the wrong direction. It wasn't the mothers. The mothers, most of the mothers is working. They doing what they got to do, but they going outside with the older cats, the older guys, and getting involved in that shit. It's the reason why females don't get involved with that, because there's no older females hitting the block. It's only younger, it's only males. But it, I find it very interesting that Charleston White couldn't let him finish, you know what I'm saying? And obviously... Melvin, he was being a little passive aggressive for sure. I ain't gotta justify my words. I ain't gotta 
words. Here's the deal, my man. words to nobody, my nigga. But, but I done listen. said what I done said. But, so whatever consequences that come with what I done said, I wouldn't accept whatever consequences. We mean. Consequences. I wouldn't no, accept whatever consequences. We mean, bro. This is my platform. And, 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 and we, we come, I come in love. Talking, but I didn't interrupt nobody, and I'm going to finish But I come in love. But I come in love. We all have opinions. But listen, but listen. But we here talking about what our things I done said. No, I'm not talking about none of that. Y'all can talk without me then. No, 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 no. No, I ain't, I ain't got to justify a motherfucking thing what I done said, my nigga. I done said it. And yeah. I, now, but no, listen, I don't. I ain't got to justify it, my nigga. I done drove too far from this motherfucker, man. nigga. Got me fucked up, man. Hey, well, we here. It, well, y'all talk. Yeah. We, we, we here. here. Y'all gonna talk without California me. California is yeah. here, yeah. nigga. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, we that's what do. we meant. Come on, we, we gotta, gotta we, we gotta, gotta do better, man. Nah, no, no, we ain't doing now. better because I this how this game go. But when he one, talk, one, we didn't say a person can't lead the conversation. You can't have it one sided. You can't do that in front of us, bro. That's Spencer. It's that. Don't you ain't disrespecting other people or kids. We gotta do better, man. No, no, no. You still it ain't. That. Bro, you we can that, see, but I'm yeah, saying, yeah, yeah, but I mean, that's bro, you bro, can't do all the talking and not in front of us. Okay, but I, I, I agree with him. That's 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 I, I agree with what he said about a character. Am I right? Yeah, you agree I, with it? I agree with what he said about a character. The character, I agree. But don't step in front of us. It can't go like that. But son, let me talk to you, Let me let me talk to you, bro. I ain't tripping. But let me let me let let's clear it up, man. For we. Hey, this is crazy. Because I would expect a conversation between a younger me, probably in high school, talking to two other cats to go like this. Now, a conversation with me now would never end up going like this as a man. Because I'm going to look at the situation neutral just like as you should. They let their emotions get into it. Charleston White let his emotions get into it. I ain't going to lie. Charleston White was the one that, that, that ended up like that could have been a regular conversation. He just got his. He just got hurt because bro was basically saying, "I don't care about no shock jock. I don't care about no, uh, you know, no killers or whatever." It's an opinion at the end of the day, and it is true. It is an opinion, but is that is that an opinion? Not does it like does it not correlate with the real situation? I, shit, he even said that he agreed with that. Both of them said they agree with it. So. It's like, how did it even get from what it was, which was a regular conversation, a real conversation, to niggas walking off because they mad and heated because niggas sent it indirect shots? Because we can't leave it, it like that. Be. I mean, when Char especially when Charleston White was the one sending indirect shots as well. He said it's indirect shots. <laughs> Clear, bro. No, because I talk no, too much. No, 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 no. That's, We're that's, not here. When you sit and think, you can talk. I ain't caring about the character he write. But when you talk about the dead. But we never got no, to no, that. No, 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 that's no, why, no, 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 Right. And, and and explain to him my view. I saw his but, but, Okay, but I'm just saying, when it came to what he's saying, it's certain things I, I agree with him, what he's saying hey. about... Hey. When they, about the, the, yeah, the, we shouldn't have, we couldn't the, do it like that. Man. Yeah, but I'm saying... Yeah, nah, that... Oh, <laughs> uh, man, I don't even know what to say, honestly. The vid really... I didn't even know it was going to end up like that, to be honest, bro. I thought it was going to be a regular conversation between Melvin Farmer and uh, Atello Marv. You know, it's a Crip and Pyro dude. You know, uh, they gang members, and they 60, and they still repping the gang set. Uh, that should tell you everything you need to know about the person itself. Even though they feel like they think that them being part of the gang is still going out there with the kids and all that is a good thing, but it's not because even if you do tell them your life story, you tell them not to do it. The fact that they could even see you and hear those stories in that kind of manner and you still out there, it just, with certain kids, it's not going to sit right with them. You know, and I feel like, and I think that 9 times 10, they still involved in the lifestyle. That's why they still go out there. So whether or not they say anything positive or not, 
you can't really change a my opinion. I mean, uh, you know what I'm saying? A, a mind of a kid when they looking at you and you still doing the same shit that you telling them not to do. Or you still fuck with people that's in that lifestyle or in that life of, and you telling that you, and you know what I'm saying? Like how Sharks the White is, you could tell Sharks the White, he, like, he don't mess with these niggas. If he mess with them, my nigga, that shit wouldn't even went nowhere near that way. He used that nigga to, 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 to research how how hood niggas grew up in Cali? It's a whole different experience, literally. It's a whole different experience out there, and he used them to learn about the situation. He learned from the situation that yeah, these niggas is tri- they all the way out, and, and and the reason why they still doing this kind of shit is because they in it. At the end of the day, I mean, it only makes sense. That's like me going to the that's like me going to the club all the time. I'm not throwing no bread. Uh, and I got two females dancing, but I'm telling niggas, hey, y'all don't go be pimps. <laughs> niggas is looking at me. They don't know that I got the females on stage, but I'm telling them don't be pimps. But they like, this nigga going to the strip club every day, don't throw no bread. Come on, like, come on. It, it's only, it only makes sense. You get what I'm saying? It only makes sense at the end of the day, though. Let me know what y'all think about the vid in the comments. Y'all just, y'all know what I feel about the vid. I feel like Charleston White definitely didn't, Take them serious, but I I understand why because at the end of the day they gotta be on some bullshit by saying what they saying because like nigga how the fuck is you gonna defend the gang culture when you know for a fact and you knew it? these niggas is sixty, so that mean they done went through two at least they done seen at least two generations of three three generations of young niggas come through at least three generations of young niggas come through because you know new generation come through every ten years they thirty dude said he was in t- jail he was in jail for a minute so I'm catching around 30 40 50 you feel me 40 50 probably the 40 50 so he done seen three generations of young niggas go through my nigga you couldn't deter most of them niggas like I understand y'all be saying if you get one then you done did your job but my nigga there is no way that it's a natural path for most of these kids to go down that it's no way because if it was why is other races not going through that same path? It's only blacks, really. So I just don't buy it, bro. I don't buy it. But at the end of the day, I don't know. I'm not out there. And nine times ten, I'll never go out there. One thing I won't do is disrespect motherfuckers, though. Charleston White could do that. He said he gonna die with it, with that choice. Me, I ain't doing it. But definitely fuck that gang shit, though. It's been your boy Variates, man. If you like this video, be sure to tune in and watch this video. If not, I got two more options. You got to click one. If not, man, make sure you subscribe before you click off Instagram, Twitter, Twitch up there, man. Be sure to tune in with me on my other on my other socials so I can stay tuned in with you. Appreciate y'all for watching the video. Have a good day. Peace.